DJ Booth about to expose Wendy Williams. It is over for Wendy. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Make sure you follow me on my Twitter page. I'd really appreciate it for, for the support. And hit me in the comments below if you would like a shout out. I'm about to shout you out. Give you a nice introduction on my next videos and you would like it. Okay, so DJ Booth has been a long time DJ for Wendy. I done a video about this like two days ago where I said I think they had a sexual relationship because Wendy does not befriend a straight man, especially a black straight man without intimacy. I think it was right. There has been a report with a source that Wendy and Booth had crossed a friendship line and Booth was fired from the show. Now Booth spoke out and this is what he has to say. Take a look. Crazy. Yo. God don't like ugly. And this little DJ is a powerful mo I ain't know I was this powerful. Guys, I ain't know I had this much weight, bro. I did not know the sort of people I know, the sort of handle I got. I feel thankful. I'm blessed. I'm thankful, you know. <clears throat> you never know who really fucked. Yo, God don't like ugly, yo. And when I say about to be crazy, it's about to be crazy. I don't got the juice. I don't got the tea. I got the f coffee. <laughs> Wendy is not right in the head. She's a user for many reasons. She cut Nene Leaks off from obtaining her talk show and threw their fake relationship to trash. She's no longer friends with Black China. And now this situation with Booth. Wendy, take this advice. If you are listening because I know you watch YouTube and I know you are aware that your fans have been saying you seem off because you are. Handle this stuff behind the scenes. What you did to Booth was wrong. I can tell when I see a good person that has a nice heart, and I see that in Booth. There are not a lot of people like that in the industry. No one is actually friends. It's all about popularity, kissing ass, business, and fake relationships, and I never would want to be a part of that. Handle this behind the scenes like David, Letterman, like David Letterman did. Oh yes, David Letterman had skeletons in his closet um, with women on his show allegedly, but he allegedly paid them off. And got it handled and wasn't exposed. He did an interview with Oprah Winfrey and he kind of just talked about that. So, Wendy, do that because that is what you want. I mean, that is all that's always what you've done with Kelvin as he wanted to get in, get it in with the employees, a.k.a. Nicole Spence. Just saying you need to retire after your contract is over. Do not. And I mean, please do not go into teaching. Just retire. Go live on an island. Get a man, a foreigner, account, somebody and just live your life through that. You know, Wendy is not a good person. After this whole divorce, she leached on to different people just to accommodate her time. She put this man, DJ Booth, on Instagram saying he's my special friend. She had the man in her home during the quarantine while she was doing hot topics from her house. Had a man in the house. So, I mean, there's obviously some type of relationship there. Obviously, some type of intimate relationship there. You don't just do that. And Wendy's that type of person where she's not going to befriend a black man that is straight, you know, unless, um, you know, they're going to be intimate. You know what I mean? So, Wendy, just take my advice. Handle this behind the scenes. You know, give DJ Booth a nice lump sum of money behind the scenes. The man deserves it. You must you messed this up. You're totally wrong for that. You're not a good friend. You're an evil person. And I would be very contradictory. Actually, I would be a hypocrite if I don't talk about this. But I talked about the way Ellen DeGeneres handled her employees. Um, but the difference between you and her is that, you know, it's obvious that you're a pariah on and off camera. You're just like Trump. He's a pariah on camera. He's off camera. And I, you know, ironically and kind of like shamingly, I rather see that. You know, I rather idolize a person that is the way they are on camera and off camera because I just I can't see anything else like everything else is fake. I don't like all that BS. Don't like all that bullshit. So Winnie just handle this behind the scenes, pay the man off 
and um, retire in 2022, I believe, when your contract is up and call it a day because it's obvious that you can't even formulate your own stories on hot topics. You continuously need Norman's help on hot topics. You're never prepped or if you are prepped, you don't listen. You you know, it's just like your mind is off. It's, it's totally off and it's time for you to go. It's time for you to just get it at ease, have your Lifetime movie biopic come out and call it a quits. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are going to agree with me. I know a lot of you guys are Wendy fans, but I don't care. That's just how I feel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yay!